Welcome again to the National Federation of the Blind Genesee County Talk Show. Here I am again at the beautiful Genesee District Library, and you know who's there next to me. Felicia. Alicia, blink them eyes and breath. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, blink them for us before we get started. All right, now. And yours truly, Father Time, we have a special guest today here. And I am Linda Bell. Linda Bell said, and it, no, she got, we got to do it the right way, okay? Ring that bell for Linda Bell. There you go. <laughs> she's, a, she's a teacher of uh, uh, ASL, American Sign Language, and she's also working with Braille students, too. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I would love to. My name is Linda Bell. Um, we have a program called Ring a Bell for ASL, and we teach American Sign Language, basic American Sign Language, sign language and we also incorporate a beginner's Braille um, for students who want to learn about Braille. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Explain what Braille is. Braille is a six-letter dot um, on a keyboard where you use six six dots to make letters, form letters. Mm -hmm. So we teach the children how to use the typewriter with using six dots, I mean, using six um, key, keys on a braille writer to form letters and alphabets. So when you say a braille writer, so you don't, so you're not writing it with your, with, with, with your hand, you're using a machine to do it? We actually it? use a, a machine, yes, a so, braille writer. And I, I've heard there's typewriter that, that does braille too, correct? There is, but I haven't seen one in a long time. Oh, okay. So I think I've seen that braille writer before. It's a little metal piece. Got How does that work? The slate? Yes. Yes. So what we do is we put it on a piece of paper and we flip it on the different side, on the opposite side. Mm -hmm. And we have the children look at the different um, sections of the the braille, I mean, on, on the slate. And once you type, press the button, press the, um, dot, with the dot with it, yes. With and you flip it over and it becomes the letter that you see on a braille. So, so, you can, so what you're doing, you're, you're not really seeing it, you're feeling it with your fingertips? Well, with the, with the braille, with with the the kids, well, with the kids being sighted and some of the kids that are um, coming to us, we show them how to do it, but they can't feel it just yet. We okay, can so, show them how to. So, to a person, a so a person that's low vision or blind, you would teach them by feeling it first? They would feel it, yes. Oh, okay. So yes. this works for not only the sighted, but the low vision and the blind people too. Absolutely. Oh, well, that sounds pretty good. See, I didn't know that. You should tell the rest of the people that. Well, <laughs> you should come to Ring a Bell for ASL and learn Braille and American Sign Language. We offer a lot of programs. Um, we do uh, Sign Exact English. A lot of people don't know about American Sign Language, where we do English, Sign English, mm. not just American Sign Language. So what's the difference? The English Sign Language is forms um, helps children with their cognitive ability to read English and sign language. Sign language is a form of French. So we translate that and they call it American Sign Language. Okay. But we have a book, it's called Sign Exact English. You and have a book here? Yes, I do. You want to hold it up so people can see? Absolutely. This is the Sign Exact English. And it helps children and adults read English appropriately. I've never heard of that before. How long, has that been around for a long time? This has been around for a very long time. Um, a lot of the deaf and hard of hearing do not like this book because it's a little bit complicated and the signs are more expound, expanded because okay. you have to do more signs to make one word. This is interesting. Like I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat familiar with American Sign Language, uh, but I had no idea about the other one. Now, you work with kids in another program too, don't you? Not quarter, not right now. We're in the process of getting that program started. What was the name of it? It's called PAL. It's called the Police um, Activity League. Okay. So we're going to work with, yes. What was that again? Police Athletic League. The, the Police Pol Athletic League. I think they've changed that name to something different now because they, was, they wanted it to sound more like anybody could get involved in it, but I guess... I have to get the right uh, uh, <laughs> information. We'll but, talk more about it when we have more information. Thank you. This is why this is why she's with me. Because when I stumble, <laughs> she catches me. I try me. to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so how long you been, so you have a business then, correct? I do have a business. My mother was deaf and I'm an only child. 
and my father wasn't with us. And so a lot of the responsibility fell on me when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. So I took on the responsibility of writing checks, uh, making sure that we had our food stamps and the lights were on, that we went to the social security office and my mom got her checks and made sure that we had everything in place at so, the age of seven or eight. So this is how you got into the sign language. This is how I was adopted it to the sign language yes so did you find it very difficult at first i mean not having a uh, having a deaf mother and not being able to communicate with her it was very difficult i got beat up every day at school because <laughs> people would say why are you using your fingers like that your mom is deaf and dumb you know why do you guys do this you know it doesn't make sense so yeah i got picked on a lot and then as i got older it became a phenomenon that this is the way some people communicate. But you know something, I think that's a lot, you know, by you going through this, it might be something you can help other people that have a deaf parent or deaf parents, where you can encourage them to let them know that you can make it through and the benefits of it because of your mother being deaf. Now you have a business. Where's your business located? We are located downtown Flint in the Ferris Wheel at 615 South Saginaw Street. And that is Flint, Michigan, 48502. And they can get in contact with you how? <laughs> you can contact me by calling 810-513-1883. Uh, I also have my, um, no, I don't have that on there, but my uh, email address is B for Bell, F-A for American Sign Language, at communications at Comcast.net. So you can contact me there. So uh, is there a way that people that need your services, uh, do you contract out to any businesses or any individuals? We have. We have done the Hasselbring uh, Senior Center. Uh, we had did a six-month program there. Oh, we had a great time. And then at the end, they performed um, two songs, um, Silent Night and We Wish You a Merry Christmas, and it was off the hook. Did you do that in American SL? Yeah, we did that in American Sign Language. Yes, we did. That's pretty neat. So so even though that you, they, you, they might be deaf, but you're still able to do songs and just carry on just like any other people. Yes, and we also do tactile signing. Now, I was going to ask you about that. Oh, were you? Yes, I was. Okay. How about that? <laughs> so, explain that. You know, I think we, we, did a, we did a show a little while ago uh, with Ms. Skinner, Felicia Parker, and oh. she went through a little bit of it. And uh, I thought that was really interesting. You, now, this is, where, this is where a person that's deaf and blind can communicate. And just, just like anybody else, except with a little work, and a little training. Explain that, please. A little extra TLC. Excuse me. Yes. Before we explain that, by the way, this is how I met Miss Bell. Uh, I'm, I am. She was at Hasselbrain, and I didn't understand how to communicate and how to learn how to do sign language because I'm thinking in my mind, I can't see her hands, so how can I learn how to do that? And she said, "Here, come here. Give me your hand." Mm -hmm. And I learned a, a few letters, and you know, it was just a little bit of example at that moment, and right. it just impressed me to the hundredth degree. You know, when, when, when Helen, you know, Helen Keller was deaf, and she deaf, and she was blind. And I, you had mentioned something about you went to Helen Keller School in New York. Yes. Well, I had a deaf blind teacher at Mott Community College. Um, I was taking the sign language, but we also had to take. Uh, um, deaf blind courses mm -hmm. and the teacher was teaching it and she opened up my world about um, Braille and that's how I got into the Braille and she was showing me the tactile signing and I thought this is amazing Could you kind of demonstrate a little bit of that now? I'm here. I, I'm, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm, I'm deaf and I'm blind. Okay. okay I appreciate so. that <laughs> so, okay. It's kind of easy for me because one of my am I didn't think you could hear either, but I'm not gonna say anything <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate this. Okay. So I'm going to have um, Felicia get involved as well. All right. So okay. you're going to hold my hand here. I'm married. I know it. Okay. And take Felicia's hand. Oh, gee, I'm in heaven now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do a sign. I'm going to put it up this way. And I want you. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay. So I want you to show Felicia what I just did. Take your hand okay. up under her hand. Here. Yeah. Now bring it up. Okay. And do this. 
lift your finger. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I, wait. Okay. I'm still be. Okay. Ready? <laughs> okay. Wait. I'm, okay. No. I think we got our hands wrong. No, nope, you're fine. No. You take your thumb like you're talking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then put I'm, it up by your forehead. Or by my forehead. And I'm, and I'm doing this? Yeah, so what you're going to do, hold my hand on this way. You're going to do this. Oh, uh, that? Yeah. And that means? Boy. Boy. Okay, well, that's the same That's the same SL sign as when you're doing this, correct? Yes. Right. So, girl, girl, you, so, so would girl be so from here? Girl would be here to here? Yeah, so you would do that to Felicia. You would do this to Felicia on the side of her. On the side of my face. With your thumb. Oh, that. I can't see your face. You're not, you're not supposed to. You're just supposed to do the most. The most. Okay. And that, and that means? Girl. Girl. Oh, all right. Okay. So that's how they teach um, tactile signing. So they would show the individual who's blind the motion. From the okay. hand. From, from the, the hand. Mo yes. And then they would do it in Braille. Okay. Spell it in their hand. A or the girl. Yeah. G. G yeah. I R L, and then you learn from the spelling of the alphabet that that sign means girl, and this means girl. Uh, now you know that is pretty. I never would have thought. I've always I've okay. seen it before, but no one has ever really showed me. Yeah, that was I like that. So, and you you are helping her with the braille. Yes, yes, I am a volunteer teacher, um, and I and I I know contracted braille, so I teach from basic all the way to contract. So also you you're coming out with something too pretty soon, aren't you? Yes, but I'm not going to tell. I, I, I'm going to say it's a secret. secret. We just want to kind of wait your Yes, that's all yes. we're talking about. So mm -hmm. that's how the, so that's really how the two of you guys got together, correct? Yes. Yes. So so it's kind of working together here. Yes. Did and you did you bring anything that you might like to show people? Like I you work with I anything? do. I brought this called sign language A B C. This is a lady, her name is Linda. When I was a little girl, um, I went to William Elementary School. And Linda was a, um, she was on the um, Sesame Street and she would teach the kids alphabets. Mm -hmm. And because her name was Linda and my name was Linda, I thought God was talking to me. <laughs> okay. I said, I'm supposed to be doing American Sign Language. All so right. I brought this home to my mother and I showed her this and she said, put that book down. You don't need that. What's the name of the book? It's called Sign Language ABC with Linda Bub. Like oh, that's, love. That's really cool. Yes. Yeah. Like, okay. And her last name had a B in it. And I'm like, my last name has a B. <laughs> so I always teach this to the kids. Uh, the kids that are seven years old, seven years younger. Okay. So we use the alphabet. Then I have my 10 year olds, my nine to 10 year olds. And we use American Sign Language for kids. And they look like our kids that okay. come to All my right. class. I know. All right. So cool. I, they have Afro puffs and they have curly hair. And when I open up the book and I do a picture, they can see the picture and the sign and they learn how to do the words and the sign. And then we make stories and we have a group of kids that love to draw. And I've got one little girl, she's an artist, just an absolute artist. Okay. And um, after they're done drawing, we do our pictures in ASL. I sign to them and show them how to do their picture in ASL. Yeah, that's really interesting. There again, you know, I really like when you start working with the kids because the kids are so important now. You teach them as you teach them and they grow, they start to teach the adults. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing because I have a student <laughs> in Braille that I'm teaching Braille to. She's actually assisting another student that's learning Braille. Mm -hmm. She's teaching her basic Braille while I'm still teaching the, my, the other student contracted Braille. So we're just, you know, um, moving it forward. We're, we're gifting other people with the with Braille. And we're using the, the same people that I'm teaching is also able to teach. So, you know, I'm going to challenge myself today with these two. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do it right here, and I'm going to take maybe five minutes out of each show where she's going to help me to learn Braille. On on the show? Right here on the show. I mean, what other better place can we do it? Okay. If I can do it with my, my little tough fingers. <laughs> now, now, mind you, Mr. Leo has 
well, Father Time has told me that he have uh, his numbness or, or he can't feel on his fingertips. But I do have a technique that I use that will help him still learn Braille, um, you know, even though he have issues with feeling his fingertips. Have issues. Right? He <laughs> have issues, that's all. Just okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, I think that would be a wonderful demonstration, you know, to just encourage people to yeah, know yeah. that there is a way that you can still learn Braille. Yeah, because if I, I think if I can do it, I think anybody can, especially with my learning curve. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Okay. But you know, this is really interested in what you're doing and how you're going about it. You've got quite a few kids that's coming down there. I do. I love my kids, and 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 I uh, and they love me, and we just have a great time. And every time we we learn a sign. We ring that bell for ASL. Ring that bell yes. for yes. ASL. Ring yes. it one more time. <laughs> Eventually, you get tired of that bell. Now. What's up? I don't know. I don't know, because every time she's every time the kids learn something, they ring it. It's kind of like every yeah, time a bell ring, cool. and they will get their wings. Yes. So you got a dual purpose there. You ring yes. that thing 20 times, that's 20 kids. And guess what? <laughs> one of the angels is probably looking at me right now. <laughs> But anyway, we want to kind of keep this moving. We want to talk about something else that's going on with the Federation for the Blind. Okay. And it says, I'm, I, I'm putting on my top hat. Mm -hmm. Putting on my white tie. And All right. Dance and, and, and fluffing up my tails because I'm stepping out. Okay. <laughs> Federation of the Blind. We're having a gala. We're having a gala coming up in the next couple of months. Yeah. It's called yeah. Right to Sight Gala. And right we, for sight. Right for sight. Well, that's yeah. why I that's why I have you here to correct <laughs> me and make sure things are going on okay. Okay. And would you like to expand it? Someone told me to mention Gala quite a few times. So here comes Gala. 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 Now, if you don't have it in your head by now, I'll even say it one more time. Gala. <laughs> so now. All Would right. you like to say something about our gala? Okay, I sure will. On June 24, 2023, at the Flint Institute of Arts, from 6 o'clock p.m. to 9 o'clock p.m., we are having our annual, this will be our first annual gala. First. A right for sight gala. And what we will have there, there's so many things going on on that night. And um, I believe that it's very refreshing for the city of Flint, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people to, in the community to come out, okay? Come out and fellowship with us at the Flint Institute of Arts. We will have a number of different events happening at the gala. Um, there will be a few hors d'oeuvres there, something you can just nibble on, okay? We're not going to serve a full dinner, but you can nibble on some things that's going to really be tasty. And we're also going to have... Um, a number of different uh, people there. Uh, for example, Institute Rhymes. And if you have not heard of Institute Rhymes or Mr. Rhymes, um, you can look him up online, okay? He's well known in the community uh, for presenting young men that are very, uh, very uh, respectful in stature and uh, they do awesome presentations all over the city of Flint. And he, he's well known, he's been doing it for so many years that everyone pretty much knows who he is. But if you do not, go online on Google and look up Institute Rhymes, R-H-Y-M-E-S. And you can find out more about him. Now also, uh, we will have the well-renowned artist, Hubert Massey. He's known all over the world for his paintings and he also will be doing a lecture that night. That's your question. Yes. Is he from, I've heard that he's around from around here. He's from from around Flint. If I'm not mistaken, he was raised in, in Mount Morris, Michigan. So he, even his family is here. So that's one of, so. that's one of ours, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, he's a Michigan person. Matter of fact, you might as well say his home is pretty close to Flint. So we need to come out and support him. Yes, we do. And Beecher High School. He's from Beecher High School. And yes. He's from Beecher. Beecher, okay. I'm a wildcat, but you know that's not it's, important right now. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all Beecher. about the federation. Right, right, right. <laughs> so he's from Beecher High School, and um, he's been all over the world. He's very, his art is very, very unique. So even if you Google his name, you would naturally 
you can see some of his work. And I mean, he has pieces at the Flint Institute of Arts. All right. Okay, so he has done presentations there before. Okay. And we're having a little music there too, aren't we? Oh, we're going to have a music from Smooth Operation. Smooth okay. Operation. Look and that's a, a local band around the city of Flint. Uh, they're well known. They've also done music at the Flint Institute of Irish in the past as well. Uh, you can also look him up on Google, uh, the Smooth Operations. And so, to give you a little idea of some of the things we're going to be doing that night, you can take a look at it. and. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful wonderful night. This is also a fundraiser for the National Federation of the Blind. Okay, um, because our goal is always to be able to help and provide resources and awareness to those out there who are visually impaired and maybe legally blind or totally blind. Uh, as long as we can keep funding, we can provide things for them to help them along the way. National Federation of the Blind does have the white cane that we can get for free. They also have a slate and stylus for Braille that you can get for free. But there's so much more that we need, okay, that, um, you know, if we have the proper funding, we can, you know, provide more. And, you know, also, we were talking about the tick ticket prices. Uh, yes. Uh, regular, ticket, uh, uh, regular ticket price is $50. VIP is $75. So you say, what do I get for $75? Not only you'll get a you'll get a T-shirt and you get a mug. Not this mug, but a mug that you can take away with you. This is going to be real exciting. I'm telling you, it's real exciting. You can dress up, black tie, white tie, top hat, tails. When you come in there, expect an experience that you never heard before. Bring your wife, bring your, your husband, bring your boyfriend, bring your girlfriend, bring somebody. It's here to help the Federation of the Blind. We're going to have a really good time. Uh, there's a lot of things you can be doing on the 23rd of June, but make sure you pencil this in. 24th. The 24th of June. Yes. Also, also um, you to make it easy on you, um, the music planet on Carpenter Road, no, Mr. No. Carter. No, no, no. The music oh, planet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, however you want to put it. <laughs> Mr. Carter um, I do have ticket sales there at the music planet. That's, that's to make it easier for people because we also have tickets on sale online as well. Was it Spice? But, uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's called Spice.com. It's more than Spice.com. Um, it says Spice.com. Spice.com. Okay. So you can purchase your tickets online at Spice.com, or if um, it's more convenient for you, go out to the music planet and talk to Mr. Carter, and he can, he can hook you up with a ticket, $50 or the $75 VIP ticket. Or you can make donations, too. You sure on, can. On Spice.com. Yeah. So if you can't make it. And you want to donate for the National Federation of the Blind, feel free to make, you can make your donation right there on the website. Okay. Also, uh, for businesses that may want to sponsor us. Okay. Uh, we do, we have already had some sponsors come in already, um, but we have um, three different ways that you can sponsor us. Okay. You can get a gold ticket which is worth a thousand dollars and you get a lot of different things that come with that including free tickets okay then we have the silver which is worth five hundred dollar donation mm -hmm. and then we have the bronze which is two hundred fifty dollars two hundred fifty dollar donation okay all three of those you will get a few tickets with that as well as a t-shirt and some of the other things like the advertisement mm -hmm. for example elba credit union has already donated okay and Ring a Bell for ASL has also been one of our sponsors here, Miss Linda Bell. Okay, so we are already having sponsorships come in. Please be one of those sponsorships and, and come in and, and assist us as much as you can. This is to assist the, the blind community in the city of Flint and Genesee County. And it's all, it's, you know, and it's, there is, if you don't have the 250 and you just want to donate anything that comes to your heart, you can go to spice.com and donate whatever. So it's just, if you just, out of the kindness of your heart, you're not expecting anything. If you want to donate a thousand or two thousand or three thousand dollars, just because spice.com, Federation of the Blind. Now we do have a goal. Our goal is ten thousand dollars. And if you want to get the ten thousand dollars right now, we appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Or you can double it if you want. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. So like I said, this is going to be real the 24th. 24th of June. Okay. And like I said, it's black tie. Uh, it's going to be really nice. I've, I've seen a little bit what's going on. It's going to be a real elegant night. Uh, matter of fact, I think uh, Father Time might be performing if I don't chicken out. <laughs> <laughs> clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> but keep in mind, oh, and we're having something else too on that weekend, aren't we? Around yes, we are. We have, we have the NFB The Real, okay, which is a program for our young people um, that are visually impaired or have sight issues, okay. What the state of Michigan has done as chosen the city of Flint to be their pilot for this program is a STEM program for blind children, okay, from the ages of 8 to 13 and the ages 14 all the way up to college students. And there, there will be students from all over the state of Michigan that will be coming to Flint at our great Hilton Gardens Hotel downtown Flint, and they're going to learn a lot of STEM uh, things that's going on connected to the catering. Science, okay. technology, yeah. engineering, and math. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so if we have been also incorporated for our young people, the college students and the high school students, to attend our gala as well, to give them that experience of, you know, being around a formal, you know, program. Are they going to be teaching the kids the proper etiquette too? At yes. The program? Yeah, yes. So this is going to be an experience for everybody. Matter of fact, I may have to come and sit because my douche are about to sell it for us. You're not one of the children, okay? Yeah, this I, is for the children. <laughs> you 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 pass that, okay? But a little I, old. I don't. I, I want to make sure I got the right fork though. Well, maybe I'll teach you, okay? okay <laughs> what what does what does real stand for? Um, I don't have it here with me right now. I but we can, I know one thing, it's going to be real for the kids. We will be advertising this more, and so we'll be able to go into more specifics as we get closer to the dates, um, because the state of Michigan is handling that portion of this, mm -hmm. not the national, not the Flint chapter. But we are the, the host. National Fe the National, national Federation. Federation of the Blind. So Flint the Genesee chapter is the host for right. the state of Michigan, Mr. Robert Parsons who is the president for the National Federation of the Blind for the Michigan, state of Michigan yeah. for the okay. state of Michigan. Okay. So they're putting this on and we're just assisting. Okay. So there, there it is. We got a lot of things to look for today. We met Linda Bell. Ring that bell for ASL. Yes. Yes. We really enjoyed you. We're like, thank you. Thank you so much for coming and, and, and putting up with us. Well, thank you for putting up with me. Uh, it was my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Father Time. <laughs> and uh, if you want to look up, if you want to you want to check out Father Time, go to Father Father Time Pro Wrestling. You can Google me, and we're also PPW will be sponsoring you. That's Pure Pro Wrestling. We're going to be sponsoring for the Federation of the Blind too. Oh, wonderful! So you know, wow. so we, we will you know, we'll be getting something. Okay. Because uh, we have we have to represent. We really do. Yes. And, so, and, and it's really about the community, the blind community, and helping as much as we can. And we like to really thank Flint. They have really backed mm -hmm. us. They're supporting us. They're allowing a lot of things for us to do here. And if, we, and if it wasn't for that, what is that? I think I hear I hear music. <laughs> That's the music for the gala. That's what Are you ready to dance? And there it is right there. Like I said, there get that top mm -hmm. hat, that white tie, get them <laughs> tails all ready because we're stepping out June 24th. What is it? 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Flint Institute of Art. And it's called what? The Right for Sight. The Right for Sight Gala, sponsored by who? The National Federation of the Blind, Flint, Genesee Chapter. There it is right there. We'd like to thank you again. We'll see you again next month. If you enjoy this, if you got some way to show that you're that you're that you like what we're doing, was it was it push the little bell on the thing on YouTube? How is that? Yeah, the, you can subscribe, subscribe or you can push the like button. Yes. And, yes. So and also can I in, um, include that the ring a bell for ASL.com have a website it's going to be coming soon okay this wonderful. is our very first website we've never had a website so it's called ring a bell for the number four asl.com okay let me ask you this. 
You mm -hmm. teach sign language. Uh, I teach, you teach Braille. Braille. I'm yes. sorry, I, I, I got confused. I was overwhelmed with the sign language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, uh, do you, you, you do, are you teaching anybody or just special people? I would teach anybody that want to learn. And so how do they get a hold of you? Oh, well, they can be reached. They, I can be reached at Erica 810-955-0168. 810-955-0168. Did My name is Felicia Bradford, and you're free to call me whether you're sighted or not. I will teach. I'm here. I'm here to teach. Well, again, I say thank you, and we'll be back next week, same time, same channel. Remember this. Gala, 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 gala. We're, 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 we're going to be there, and I hope to see you there soon. I'd like to thank you again, and the Blink Them Eyes Bradford. <laughs> That's right. We'll be back. Thank you.